Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing the opposite book tag and I'm not sure um, who created this tag but I'm going to look that up and uh, put the channel link and the video link in the description box below. So let's start with number one which is about my first book in my collection and the last book in my collection. And the first one would be Twilight by Stephanie Meyer and this is a Hungarian copy of Twilight and I think this was uh, the first book that I bought with my own money and that's why I decided uh, I chose this book because uh, for my other books I didn't really buy them I received them as gifts from my family so I wanted to include the one that I bought with my own money and the last book in my collection is kinda toss up because I didn't know which one to choose from my latest order because there were four books in it but I went with Clash by Nicole Williams because that was the last one on the list, on the order list and yeah I already included this in one of my hauls so this is the second book in a series so I don't even really know what this is about. The second one is to show the cheapest and the most expensive book in my collection and this was kind of hard because a lot of my books uh, cost the same amount of money because I buy them as used books and they are all around four bucks but I chose The Host by Stephanie Meyer and I chose this because I paid four bucks for it instead of the full price which would have been 26 bucks so that's why I chose this because it was basically a steal and my most expensive book would be again Twilight by Stephanie Meyer just because this is the only hardcover book that I have um, ever bought full price and so um, it was around $18 I think but I'm not sure but I just love how the Hungarian copy has the uh, cover in the inside book as well as the uh, cover or dust jacket or however you call it so I think that's pretty neat and the next one is to find a book with a male protagonist and another one with a female protagonist I kinda had a hard time to find a book with a male protagonist because I don't really read a lot of books uh, with male protagonists but I did find one and that is The Maze Runner by James Dashner I think I read it last year but I'm not sure but I really need to uh, finish this uh, trilogy because I'm quite intrigued um, about what will happen in the next two books and for the female protagonist I could have basically chosen any book but I wanted to uh, choose one that I would like to recommend to all of you and that uh, I really loved and that is Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder and this is about a young girl uh, called Yelena who has to make a choice between either to be uh, executed for murder or to become the, um, the food taster for the king I think. This is a fantasy book and I really really enjoyed it. It was uh, it was fast paced and I loved the uh, romantic uh, storyline in this book as well and I haven't read the second and the third book in the trilogy but I should do that. I was just nervous because on Goodreads there are mixed reviews about the other two books but I definitely definitely recommend Poison Study. And then I have to show you a book that I read really fast and another one that took me quite some time. And the book that I read very fast is The Duff by Cody Kaplinger and I have just recently done a review about this book so I'm going to link that in the description box below. But I read this in one sitting basically. It was just that good. I loved it so much. And the book that took me quite some time to finish will actually surprise a lot of you because it's one of the most popular books on uh, booktube but that is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken and I don't have a physical copy of that because I have read it as an ebook but um, I don't know. I just really... I don't I just didn't like it that much and I don't know why because a lot of people basically everyone loves that book but it just took me some way because I, I don't know maybe because I didn't really have time when I read that book so I only read a few pages each time so I couldn't really connect to the story and maybe I should just give it another try but yeah that book took me a while to read and now I will show you a book with a pretty cover and then another with an ugly cover and for the pretty cover I chose Unravel Me by Tehara Mafi and do I need to say anything because this cover is just gorgeous and I love this book so much I love this book so much it was uh, so much better than Shatter Me and I already love Shatter Me so this book and chapter 62 I think mm -hmm, I love it 
I love it a lot and it's gorgeous, it's just gorgeous. For the ugly cover I chose this uh, version of Specials by Scott Westerfeld and I don't like this cover at all. Uh, the other two covers I actually really like, uh, the pretties, I think it looks cool and the uglies one is really good as well. But I don't know, the Specials is just weird and morbid and not pretty at all but I love this trilogy so much. It was my first dystopian uh, series that I have ever read before. Dystopian was this popular as it is right now. And the next one is to choose a national book and an international book. And because I am Hungarian, uh, every book I read is basically international so it was harder to find a national one because I don't like to read in Hungarian anymore because it's just weird. So the book I'm going to show you I didn't even finish and I feel so bad because my mom bought it for me but it is Hello London by Fajos Eva and Fajos Eva is a very popular Hungarian writer but I started this book but I really couldn't get into it because the story was weird <laughs> and as I said I just can't read in Hungarian anymore because it just sounds so, I don't know, cheesy and corny and just weird and maybe it's just because I'm used to English now but yeah so this is a national book and for the international book I could have basically chosen any book in my collection but I decided to go with an Australian writer and I chose Saving June by Hannah Harrington and I have just talked about this book in my previous video but it's a contemporary book and it's one of my favorites ever so please read this book because it's just so good and then I had to choose a thin book and a thick book and I wanted to choose books that I have actually read so I chose um, Succubus Revealed by Rochelle Mead and this is 295 pages so I couldn't find anything shorter but that was exactly my problem with these books. It was way too short, especially because all the other books um, in this series is longer and this one is the final one so I expected something really good from this book but um, this is the sixth and the final book in the Georgina Kincaid series by Rochelle Mead and it's, uh, it's the least known or the less known a series of Rochelle Mead but it's just so amazing and I recommend it to everyone but this is an adult series so be aware of the uh, sexual content and the language and all that jazz but it's a really great series and uh, please give it a try because it's so good but this is pretty much the shortest book that I have read I think and for the longest book I have Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer and this is 254 pages long so it's a really long book but I was obsessed with Twilight so I didn't care the more was the merrier. The next one is to show a fiction book and a non-fiction book and basically all the books I read are fiction so I just chose one that I really want to again recommend to all of you and that is Unearthly by Cynthia Hand and it's the first book in the Unearthly trilogy and this is one of my favorite series ever and this book the feels I have uh, for this book is just crazy and uh, it's an angel book and it's a really really good angel book so if you want to read angel books this uh, is the one that I recommend to all of you because it's amazing it's amazing and OTP in this series OTP and then I had to choose a very romantic book and an action-packed book and for the romantic book I could have chosen basically any contemporary book but I wanted to change it up a bit and I chose the Selection by Kira Kess and I chose this book because it's I think a dystopian book but mainly it's romance and I love it because I'm one of those people who need the romance in any kind of book so I don't care when, it, uh, when the romance is way too much in a dystopian sci-fi fantasy book and I don't know it's just so much fun this book is just so much fun and the cover is just so gorgeous and I love my son Yes, I do. And for the action-packed book, I chose Forsaken by Jenna Oliver or Jenna Oliver. I'm not sure, but uh, this is uh, about a girl called Riley, and she is a demon trapper, just like her father was. And I enjoy this book, but um, it was way too much action for me. And I wanted wanted the romantic line or story to happen in this, but it uh, hasn't quite 
happened in this one yet but I do have the second book so I'm going to read that and see if that romance will happen or not and I hope it will and the last one is to choose a book that makes me happy and the one that made me sad and for the happy I chose and then the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins because this is my favorite contemporary ever and I have also talked about this book in my last video but it's just the sweetest story ever and um, the male interest in this book is my love, is my baby and this book is my baby and I recommend this book to everyone and it just makes me feel happy and giddy and the feels and <laughs> yes, happy, very happy. And the book that made me sad is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I'm not sure, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I screw that name up, but this book is so underrated and I have never seen anybody talk about this book in YouTube and it's just so amazing. I cried like a baby and it was ugly sobbing uh, for the last, I don't know, 80 pages or 100 pages and even the next day I couldn't basically function because every time I thought about this book I just started crying. And that never happened with me before and I, I have read some pretty sad books and uh, books that made a lot of people cry but not really me but this book is just hmm I don't know when I can reread it because I know I will be uh, having all those feels again but this is about um, a guy called Will who has the basically the perfect life but then an accident happened and then he was forced uh, into a wheelchair and he can't feel anything uh, from the waist down and uh, we also have this girl called Lou and she is going to be his caretaker uh, it's very emotional it's very intense they have a hard time just being around each other and of course Will has to uh, deal with the fact that he can't uh, walk anymore and he never will be able to walk anymore and it's just so sad and so tragic and so real and uh, please read this book it's it's really amazing so those were all the questions or the points or I don't know but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found some books in this that would interest you and that you would want to read and uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below if you want to and thumbs up this video if you want to and I will talk to you guys soon bye bye